Shabbat Shalom. This week in Eretz Yisrael, we are reading Parashat Balotcha. Parashat Balotcha has a string of seemingly unrelated <coughs> passages uh, dealing with a, with some mitzvot and some stories about what transpired. I want to talk today just about the, the passage that talks about the commandment to make the Chatzotzrot HaKesef, the two silver trumpets. And once again, my words will be based on uh, some insights that I derived from the Rav, Rabbi Soloveitchik's uh, commentary on, on this parasha, added with added to, added to it some thoughts of my own. So the Rav has a drush on the opening a sentence of this parasha where it says, and the, the purpose of the chatzotzot of the trumpets is, Ostensibly, there's no repetition here. Uh, uh, it's to assemble the Eda and to tell the Machanot, you know, when to march and when to start marching. But the Rav finds reason here to make very nice drush on these two words that are used to describe the social grouping that is involved, Eda and Machaneh. The Rav says that there are two reasons that people form social groups. One is simply out of self-defense. The people have no common goals or values or aspirations, but they are faced with an external threat, an enemy, and the only way to maintain an effective defense is to band together. This is called the machane. On the other hand, sometimes the social grouping is initiated by a group of people, not because they face an external threat, but because they have shared values and shared goals, and they want to work on them together and produce them together uh, as a community. This is what is called a da. Now it's interesting that even though, again, as the Torah explains the the, the uses that the that the trumpets had, it's clear that that the, the that the a da that the the, the the trumpets were sounded to assemble the people, and the trumpets were, sound, were sounded to give the marching orders or halt order to call to, and, and make camp. But quite in line with what the Rav Dra, uh, has, has said in his drush is the, is the, is the closing passage, uh, where, where the, the two last uh, uh, psukim, the two last verses in this passage, which tells us of, of, of the uses of the trumpet Beyond uh, what were, will happen when uh, during the, the the forty years in the desert, when we are established in Eretz Yisrael, v'chitavo milchama baratzachem al atzar tzaretchem arayotem echatzotzrot, we blow the trumpets when in a time of danger, in a time of trouble, and uviyom simchatchem v'moadechem roshei chatzechem, we also blow the, the trumpets. In, 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 in during holidays and feast days and times of celebration. So it actually fits in very well with what the Rav said, that we blow the trumpets out of uh, as an alarm in which people will come together and, 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 and join in, in some sort of self-defense or some sort of operation, even though we're not really you know, connected together as a community, or, but also for celebrations where it's our, we're initiating it because we have causes the cause to celebrate these holidays that perform an uh, important function in the communal life as a place to sort of take a day off from your daily routine be meet with people of of the community and, and and of course discuss and learn our shared values and principles uh it's interesting also it is something that i'm just throwing out here as a final thought some people, including the Ralbag, who was a very close reader of, of the Rambam, uh, and others, have noticed and, and actually criticized the Rambam in his Sefer Mitzvot when he's counting the 613 commandments. And uh, as uh, you must know, he has these very tightly reasoned 14 rules that he has used to decide uh, what to include and what not to include in his list of the 613 commandments. They say that According to Maimonides' own rules, there should have been two separate mitzvot uh, for the sounding of the trumpets, the one 
that the the the, the uh the blast used to assemble the the Ada and the blast used to give the marching orders to the Machanot. But the Rambam lists only one. And the Ralbag says that he will discuss it in his own Sefer Mitzvot. Unfortunately, either he never wrote it or he wrote it and we never, it hasn't survived. Other other uh, students and critics of Maimonides have addressed this. But I'm just throwing this out here now that I think it's it actually, it makes sense in the life of what, what the Rav is saying that there should be one Mitzvah. Why? Because it's really the same people. If you follow Jewish history and Jewish current events, ongoing Jewish history, we know that it's the same group of people, the same group of Jews who sometimes will act like a machine and will have will be squabbling and have really little to do with each other. But when faced with external threats, and unfortunately we have we have plenty of them and they keep growing and growing in intensity and danger. So we'll get together and and and, and try and find some common a uh, way to ward them off, but nothing more than that. On the other hand, we also have seen many things initiated by Jews of all stripes from different uh, backgrounds of different, like speaking different languages, different philosophies, different worldviews, but but, but uh, sharing common, what we perceive to be common Jewish values to initiate uh, things, including and most uh, especially uh, the state of Israel, and this means it's the same people. They could and 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 this behavior varies over the short period. A short period, in other words, it could be that the same group of people who are today squabbling and will only band together to to fight off a, a common enemy will tomorrow join together to initiate some wonderful project and the other way around. So it actually makes sense that 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 that, that this one mitzvah. Just the, the circumstances uh, uh, will decide the circumstances not only of whether it's an external threat or not, but what the actual situation is within the Jewish community and our relations to each other, uh, whether it's Alatzar uh, Tzeretchem or Uviyom Simchatchem. Thank you very much for your attention and have a good Shabbos.